This unique street is about 10 meters long and less than one meter wide, measuring... You call this a street? That's According to a study conducted in 2019, the country, along with Hungary, is Europe's leading producer of adult content films. For a Blimey. Blimey. Are you joking? It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Yo, my beautiful people, we are back again today on this beautiful day, guys. Double to everybody. Today, guys, we are going to check out the part two of Life in Czech Republic. We checked out the part one. It was crazy. It was crazy. Czech Republic, you guys are mad crazy. Like, your tourism, the sites there, the people, the food I've seen so far. Look, it's calling my name. It's calling my name. <laughs> it's calling my name. All right, guys, let's do the part two. Okay. Party time. What kind of cars are those? Mm. Not gonna lie, okay. We've got some pretty girls. What's going on? There is on? a surprising fact about the Czech Republic. Along okay. with Hungary, it is one of the largest producers of adult films in Europe. With a population of... Wait, did I hear that right? The largest producer of what? Wait, wait, wait. There is a surprising fact about the Czech Republic. Okay. Along with Hungary, it is one of the largest producers of adult films in Europe. With a population of just 10.5 million, which is less than 1% of the world's population, this country is home to 13% of the global adult film industry. 13. According to a study conducted in 2019, the country along with Hungary is Europe's leading producer of adult content films. For a Blimey. Blimey, are you joking? You see the massive numbers. Example, while walking around the capital city of Prague, you might unknowingly come across someone who is a well-known star in the adult film industry. If you live there for a while, you will likely find that someone in your circle of acquaintances is involved in this industry as an actor, producer, or cameraman. The question of how and why the Czech Republic chose to grow in this industry despite okay. its small population is intriguing. Very. Despite offering a relatively high quality of life compared to many countries, Czech women are open to entering this industry and continuing their lives this way. Wow. Furthermore, Czech stars are not only prominent within Europe, but are also exported to other active regions in this sector, such as the United States. When you talk to local Czechs about this topic, they attribute it primarily to the pursuit of easy money. Czech women become stars in the adult film industry by their own choice, without mm. any coercion. So they become like adult stars without coercion. I hear that in, uh, a lot of ladies are usually forced into it, so it's more like a, a human trafficking or something like that. They're not really into it, but they're kind of, you know, when you're forced to do something, but the Czech ladies, they do it out of their own will for easy money. Okay. Purely for quick and easy financial gain. However, these topics are rarely discussed publicly in the Czech Republic. In fact, many tourists visiting the country are unaware that it is one of the top producers in this sector globally. I do even Putting know. aside this lesser known aspect of the Czech Republic, there are other more ordinary details about the country. Okay. For example, the people here are not particularly interested in football or basketball. Typically, if a country is not passionate about football, it tends to excel in basketball as seen. No, wait, wait, wait. European country that is not interested, that's not passionate about football. Like most European countries that I know, what is football? It's like a passion. It's like you, you want to die for it. For example, the people here are not particularly interested in football or basketball. Blimey. Typically, if a country is not passionate about football, it tends to excel in basketball mm -hmm. as seen in countries like Serbia and Lithuania. Similarly, in the US, basketball is very popular while football is less so. However, this is not the case in the Czech Republic. The country is a fervent fan of ice hockey. The I Czech see. men's national ice hockey team is one of the strongest teams globally and many successful players in various international ice hockey leagues are of Czech origin, such as Jaromir Jager. The Czech Ice Hockey League, held from September to April, consists of 14 professional teams and captures the entire country's attention. The Czech Republic is not only known for its adult film stars and ice hockey, okay. the country has also Clearly. made significant contributions to science. 
For Tell example, okay. vision impairment is common, affecting one in five people. That's a, a lot. A Czech chemist invented contact lenses, offering a solution for many who prefer not to wear glasses. Wait, the contact lenses are from Czech Republic. Contact lenses. Contact lenses are so popular world over. It's from Czech. Okay. Additionally, Johann Mendel, a key figure in the laws of genetic inheritance, was a scientist born and raised in this region, making substantial contributions to genetics. You might also have heard of Franz Kafka, who was actually bohemian, meaning he was Czech. Mad Those who guys. are into literature and avid readers are likely familiar with his quotes and life philosophy. Kafka once produced works focusing on social issues, societal ostracization, and ethnic identity separations. Additionally, the word robot was first used in the Czech Republic and entered the world's vocabulary. Are you wearing stop this, stop it, stop it. Come on, Czech Republic, stop this. Are you serious? Robot. Robot. One of the most popular words in the whole world. The most... Everybody knows a robot. Everybody knows a robot. So you're from Czech Republic. A Czech writer used the term robot in a play to describe a soulless creature that could perform all the tasks humans didn't want to do, thus introducing it to the world. If you visit the Czech Republic and Prague, it's worth noting that the world's narrowest street is located in this charming country. The street is so incredibly narrow that traffic lights are installed at its entrance to manage pedestrian flow, no and it can be found way. in Malastrana. Prague's oldest and most picturesque district. This unique street is about 10 meters long and less than one meter wide, measuring. You call this a street? You call this is this is this is a, a, a tiny alleyway. This is a narrow, narrow alleyway. What? Be found in Malastrana, Prague's oldest and most picturesque district. This unique street is about 10 meters long and less than one meter wide, measuring just 48 centimeters at its narrowest point. To pass through this extremely tight space, you must follow the traffic lights, as there is only enough room for one person at a time. No way! The street is essentially a narrow staircase leading to a cozy restaurant, making it impossible for two people to walk side by side within it. This quirky and fascinating street adds to the unique charm and character of Prague, making it a must-see for visitors. Mad guys. Another significant point of interest Mad is guys. that Prague hosts the largest Jewish quarter in Europe. Located in the very center of Prague, this historic quarter is steeped in many intriguing legends and stories. It is said that during World War II, Adolf Hitler intended to create a museum for an extinct race and thus never harmed the Jewish quarter in Prague, placing it under his protection. Hmm. Many people believe this legend, noting that the Nazis never entered or bombed this area or any part of Prague during the war. As a result, everywhere you look in Prague, it exudes a preserved historical atmosphere that transports visitors back in time. One of the most important things to know about Czech culture and culinary preferences is that they are true mushroom enthusiasts. It might seem un... Wait, mushroom enthusiasts? I love my mushrooms. Now, when I talk about mushrooms, I'm talking about mushrooms I eat in the English breakfast. When you put that mushroom, yeah, you know, when you, when you fry that mushroom, yeah, you put some little spices on it, yeah, a bit of salt, a bit of maggi, yeah, and like, like it's just there, like that is juicy, yeah, and you bite it, yeah, you go, ah, I love my mushrooms. References is that they are true mushroom enthusiasts. It might seem unbelievable, but in the Czech Republic, a family collects eight kilograms of mushrooms from nature each year. If you see people gathering in the country's national parks, forests, and green parks, it's likely they are foraging for mushrooms. Mushrooms oh. are known as the poor man's meat in the Czech Republic, oh. and those who cannot afford meat go to the mountains and forests to add mushrooms to almost every meal. Soups and stews are prime examples of this. The country has 35 types of edible mushrooms, and the Czechs know which ones are tasty and safe better than many others outside the Czech Republic. Wait, if, we, if mushrooms is the only reason why I'm gonna go to Czech Republic, I'm gonna go. On the other hand, there are a significant number of beggars in Prague, especially in tourist areas. 
The difference between beggars in this country and those in other countries is that they ask for help by bowing their heads to the ground. The biggest friends of the homeless and beggars in the Czech Republic are their dogs, which never leave their side. Oh. Most of the beggars are men and middle-aged. Oh. They all use similar body language to ask for a few crowns from you. However, despite the abundance of tourists, no one tries to forcefully take money from tourists. Whether or not you give them money is up to you. The Czech Republic is one of the safest countries you can visit in Europe. Various sources even list it among the top 10 safest countries in Europe. Wow. In the capital Prague, police patrols are almost symbolic and you rarely see officers intervening with anyone other than drunkards. Some patrol cars even have no police officers in them. On the other hand, in the Czech Republic, it's not just the architecture that stands out. The development of the roads that... Wait, let's take this back. Let's take this back. You see what they said here about the police? This is opposite from London. Completely opposite. In London, sometimes you see people chasing the police. It's mad. Or you see police, police and, uh, and the people having a fight. It is crazy. This is opposite to London. Completely. Almost symbolic. And you rarely see officers intervening with anyone other than drunkards. Some patrol cars even have no police officers in them. On the other hand, in the Czech Republic, it's not just the architecture that stands out. The development of the roads, their modern image and the minimal amount of litter also elevate the pleasure you will get from this country to the highest levels. No matter how many side streets you wander in the Czech Republic, encountering a large pile of garbage is a very slim chance. Especially since Prague, the capital city, is a major tourist attraction. Every street, park and area around every museum is maintained with great cleanliness. Ah, ah, I'm looking at this video, I'm shaking my head for London. If you guys come to East London, you come to Whitechapel, not just Whitechapel, go to West London, Hounslow, and many areas in London. You see rubbish left, right and centre. It hurts my heart so much because I love London, you know. London's my city. Streets are cleaned by municipal workers and shop owners start their day by cleaning their stores early in the morning. Such clean streets in a beautiful city naturally wow. deserve to be graced by luxurious and modern cars. Mm. You might know that the Skoda brand is an automobile company belonging to the Czechs, perhaps the most globally recognized brand Skoda. value they possess. For instance, a vast antivirus is also Czech owned, a but vast. it is not as popular as Skoda. Although Skoda operates under the German Volkswagen company, it remains a symbolically Czech brand. Yeah, because I'm like Skoda. So Skoda is Czech and it's not, it's not German. Blood clot. This is why the most common car brand you will see on the streets of Prague is undoubtedly Skoda. This brand often stands out with its SUV model, Kodiak. Hmm. In Prague, whether people drive Skoda or other brands, they typically own high model cars. Almost all the vehicles you see on the road are newer than 2020, and most of them are Skoda and other German brands. One of the most iconic modern designs in the Czech Republic might be the Dancing House. For France, the Eiffel Tower holds a similar meaning as this building does for the Czech Republic. Look Constructed the between 1994 and 1996, this structure consists of two main bodies. The first body is a glass tower supported by inclined columns. The second body has a wavy structure that runs parallel to the river. This design gives the impression of a dancing building, mm. making it seem as if the building is moving. Inside the building, you'll find cafes and restaurants. Wow, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. So it looks like it's moving, it looks like it's dancing, like when you when you look at it and then you walk around it. Okay. Other significant places you must see in Prague include the Old Town Square, Prague Castle, Charles Bridge, and the astronomical clock in the Old Town area. Especially, the astronomical clock puts on a show for passers-by every hour. According to legend, Hannes the craftsman who made the clock created a sensation with his work. When other kings wanted the clock, the Czech king blinded the craftsman to prevent him from making another. Ah, the crazy. craftsman then committed suicide by throwing himself from the top of the clock, but not before sabotaging it. It is said that the clock couldn't be repaired by anyone for 50 years. 
To depict this story, a bell rings and a ceremony takes place at the heart of Prague every hour. Apart from this, people Sad. who are bored and want to have fun in the central square seem to have found their own ways to entertain themselves. Confident Yo. and fun-loving people enjoy okay. themselves in such a manner. <laughs> These are the kind of people. These are the kind of people. Just go out there, have fun, enjoy. Enjoy life. You know, life is short. Have fun now. You know, just have fun and always remember God. Let's go. Let's go, auntie. Let's go, auntie. Let's go, mommy. <laughs> people just At have another fun on the important streets. symbol of Prague, the Charles Bridge, you are greeted by numerous statues. This bridge connects the old town with Prague Castle. It is said that until 1741, this bridge was the only crossing point over the Vltava River. Oh. All the other bridges you see in Prague were built after the Charles Bridge. When the statues of significant figures on the bridge began to deteriorate, the originals were moved to the National Museum and replicas were placed on the bridge. Mm, preservation. Similarly, the intricate carvings on the astronomical clock were continuously replaced with replicas over the years due to wear and tear from precipitation. The bridge is extremely popular and many artists conduct commercial activities there. Some claim to draw your realistic portrait and do so. Mm -hmm. Others prefer to draw fun okay. caricature portraits of you. They charge around 50 euros for this service. Some people on the bridge prefer to perform general shows and expect donations from you like this musician and similar performers. Yo, what's this? In Prague, every historical symbol you see is not necessarily an exact original. Many have been replaced with carefully crafted replicas to preserve the city's rich history. Yeah. The largest tourist demographic aside from Czechs includes a significant Vietnam. number of Asian and Arab tourists at every major tourist spot, you can easily encounter groups of Arabs, Koreans, or Japanese tourists exploring the city's attractions. Arabs typically visit the country independently, enjoying the sights at their own pace, while tourists from other nations often follow a tour guide, gaining mm. structured insights into the city's history and culture. Mm. Those who come to work in Prague are usually from countries like the Philippines, India, and Bangladesh, contributing to the city's diverse and vibrant workforce. There is another location in the capital wow. Prague. What's this? It's like a graffiti wall. That people are sure to visit, and that is the Lenin Wall. This wall is, so to speak, the most famous wall in Prague, the capital of Czechia. Why do they call it the, the Lenin Wall? Like, what, what connects Lenin to the, to the wall? John Lennon, the legendary member of a music band, was shot Beatles. and died in 1980. Since then, this wall has been memorialized with graffiti poems in Lenin's oh. memory, expressing the love for him. Visitors coming to the country take photos in front of this wall. One of the most noticeable features in Prague is the cannabis shops. There is a cannabis shop almost every 100 meters, giving Prague a bit of a Dutch atmosphere. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Because when I saw the cannabis here in the earlier part of the video, I was like, Cannabis here, but some people said to me that no, they don't really sell cannabis there, but he's saying that there are cannabis shops there. It seems that cannabis use is legal to some extent, and commercial shops have opened to sell these products. Various types of products are sold in these stores, and they generally yeah, do man. not allow you to film inside. Tourists show a great deal of interest in these shops. Of course. Some local Czech citizens claim that the products in these stores Slash. are a scam for tourists and do not have the relaxing effects they advertise. I heard that. Is it true? For example, research shows that THC is the primary psychoactive compound in cannabis products. When you ask if these products contain THC, you often receive evasive answers, suggesting that the products may indeed be a tourist trap. Ah. Speaking of Prague and the Czech Republic, Let's talk about what you can eat while you're there. Please, for instance, that. there is a popular Czech fast food chain called Bagateri Whoa. Boulevard. Look at Visitors that meat. to the country can find branches of this chain at various points throughout the city, offering very tasty and affordable sandwiches that cater to a variety of tastes. Bagateri Boulevard. You can customize these sandwiches by choosing the type of meat and bread, allowing for a personalized dining experience. Mm. The cheese they use has a unique, wonderful flavor that sets their sandwiches apart from others. 
If you want a quick and cheap taste of Prague, this delightful eatery should be one of your first choices. Okay. It provides a convenient and satisfying option for those looking to enjoy a delicious meal without spending too much time or money, okay. making it an ideal stop for both tourists and locals alike. It is also worth noting that even if you eat at most fast food and restaurant chains in the country, the toilets are usually paid. They have turnstile systems where you pay 20 Czech crowns, which is about one euro, to use the toilets. You pay for toilets? Even if you are in a restaurant, you pay for toilets? That is mad. Okay. Even well-known chains like McDonald's have adopted this system. In some places, you can enter the toilets for free using a code on your receipt. Visitors mm. to the Czech Republic will undoubtedly ah, notice... Africans. I've spotted them. ...using a code on your receipt. Visitors to the... Ah, aunties. Aunties, mummies. The Czech Republic <laughs> Hello, will undoubtedly auntie. notice a popular sweet treat called Trdelnik. This delightful dessert can also be found in other European countries under different names, but it retains its unique appeal. It looks quite appetizing and intriguing to visitors from outside Europe, mm, who are often drawn to its eye-catching appearance. Mm. Trdelnik is a sweet pastry made from dough wrapped around a stick, then coated with sugar and often filled with delicious ingredients such as nuts, cream, or ice cream. Some may find it reminiscent of an ice cream cone due to its shape and presentation. According to the locals, it is not a traditional Czech dessert, but rather a treat adopted from neighboring countries. Mm. However, shops in Prague sell it under the guise of a traditional treat, and judging by the constant crowds at these shops, this clever marketing tactic seems to be quite successful. The city is full of these sweet shops, as well as numerous currency exchange offices and cannabis as tobacco shops, creating a diverse and vibrant commercial atmosphere. Both tourists and locals pay special attention to sweet shops. While exploring, you can easily enter any sweet shop and get lost among the various confections. There are many sweet shops in Prague and the smell of sweets can become overwhelming after a while. Never. The Czech Republic is also one. The smell of sweets can never be overwhelming to me. Sweets can become overwhelming after a while. Not to me, sir. The Czech Republic is also one of the top five countries in Europe for beer consumption. If there's something cheaper than water in the Czech Republic, <laughs> it's probably beer. Almost every cafe and restaurant offers a variety of beers. Prices vary according to the alcohol content and the size of the glass. While there, you can find a Czech beer for as little as one euro at a roadside cafe. In conclusion, the Czech Republic and Prague are among the top places to... Stop it. One euro for beer. One euro. Come to London, bruv. Six pounds. That is like uh, seven or eight euros. Yeah, for a pint of beer. Or if you go to the corner shop, you can get the cans for like maybe uh, three pounds, two pound fifty. So like three euros or four euros. Say. And that's meant to be cheap, you know. Find a Czech beer for as little as one euro at a roadside cafe. Mad. In conclusion, the Czech Republic and Prague are among the top places to visit for those who want to experience a medieval European atmosphere in the 21st century. Yes, sir. The country offers a safe and comfortable environment for everyone. The people are beautiful, <laughs> open oh. to conversation and well-groomed. Tell me about no it. No matter why you visit, you'll always find an option that fits your needs and budget. Let's go. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Goodbye. I've liked and I've subscribed. Yo, this was insane. This was crazy. I had absolute fun. Like fun, 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 fun. I enjoyed the video so much, yeah. Like I said, if I was not convinced to visit before, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm convinced. The mushroom thing, the mushrooms, then also the, the one pound beer, the cheap life there. Like you go in there and then you spend, have fun. Mad. I think it's going to be like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday trip for the first time to see how it is there. And then maybe next time it's a bit longer. But so far, I've seen so much on the sea. The dancing house like that, that is curved like this. Yo, I want to see that as well. And um, we're going to visit all the shops. <laughs> You know the shops, we're going to visit them all. We're going to see what Prague has got to offer. But I'm really, really surprised. Like, the contact lenses was invented in Prague. 
and also the word robot wow let's go there yo brag we are coming we are coming i haven't got too much to say guys i just, I just want to say thank you so much for the love for the support for subscribing to my channel for watching for your comments you guys i love you imprinted on my heart i'm gonna catch you soon guys peace out Love you more than words can say You are me Oh, you are the light that shine in my way You are me Oh, I love you more than words can say You are me Oh, you are the light that shine in my way